Justice, the St. Michael Start Band start to lead the two teams round here for the pre match parade. And the two teams are in front of us here. And one of the most glorious days in The ball is in, and up the go for it, and Jim Sherry knocks it down, but Brian Cox gathers the loose ball and gets Balcoon moving right away. Cox lays the ball back there, looking for Ryan Leonard. Leonard lays it off again, possession football, Cox gathers the ball, Cox back to Ryan Leonard. Ryan Leonard tries to break the tackle, Leonard is just to be fouled, and the free will be taken by Shane McCabe. McCabe gets it over there to John Carrigan, John Carrigan gives the ball down towards John and Feely. Man with a potent left foot, still Feely, twists and turn, trying to get it on the left foot. Feely goes to the post and looks good. It's a fine effort from Feely. And over the bar it goes, what a wonderful score from Johnny Feely. He scored 111 in the championship to date. He can make that. Drives it long and high and up the go for Hopeful ball and the loose ball is picked up by Shane Lynch. Lynch has been quiet in these opening 10 minutes. Lynch turns, gets it back on to... Peter Lynch, Peter Lynch goes to the score and Peter Lynch knocks it over the bar. Fine opening score for Ross Lay. It's taken them all of 11 minutes to get it, but a fine score and well worked. Gives it inside to Leonard. Leonard, Gavin, Leonard with the shot. Gavin Leonard's shot goes over the bar. Clenched fist from Gavin Leonard. He's delighted with that score. So too is the big Balcou support that's here in Brewster Park. And Balcou stretched their lead out to four points. Uh, number 12, we think it is. Um, Jimmy Leonard, but we'll check that one out as the ball is head. Sean Quigley, well, Sean Quigley had the shot, blazed it over the bar. Uh, cross, that's one of those crossbar shots. Cut it, cut gathers it, gives it back to James Sherry. Sherry, delicate ball forward into the hands there. Connor Mulligan, good diagonal ball in towards Sean Quigley. Up the goal, brilliant by Sean Quigley. Still Sean Quigley, in it goes. Brilliant save there by McGrath. Well, it was flicked on there by Niall Cosgrove, but it was an excellent diagonal ball in towards Sean Quigley. He summed up what. Maybe he, you never know. Yeah, well, if he can get to half time. It can be assessed as Shamey Quigley hits the 45. It looks good from Quigley. Oh, that's a super, super effort from Shamey Quigley. And that would go on to have the option with big Stephen Maguire in there. Maguire gathers the ball well. Still Maguire. He's been marked by Niall Cassidy. He gives it inside towards Leonard. Leonard is fouled by the goalkeeper, is he? No, he's brought the ball out over the sideline or the end line. And the referee awards the, the line ball. But that's playing in the forward division now, I suppose, with Niall McGovern going back into defence. They had to push a defender forward, and that's. Uh, Niall Leonard, sorry, Gavin, Gavin Leonard, I should say, for number four. It was him that had that opportunity as Rusty, and now have the ball with Conor Mulligan. Mulligan decides uh, to give it long again, route one, dangerous, dangerous ball, up goes McGrath. Oh, brilliant hands by James McGrath, that was a difficult ball to take, gets it out to the, 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 the full back lane and sweep him there. It's very hard for him to deliver a long ball into Stevie or to Johnny Feely at the minute. In towards Johnny Feely, this time he's normally deadly accurate, he is deadly accurate. That's a fine score from Johnny Feely. That's his third point in this championship final. And I think the big message coming from this... Put it over the bar, great score from play. Uh, Balcou needed that, they hadn't scored since the 14th minute. So all of 14 minutes, 15 minutes have gone before they got that score. As the board goes up on the far side of the field and indicates that there will be three minutes of additional time. Route one again, in it goes. Will the keeper come? Does he stay? Flick on by Quigley. Back to Sean Quigley. Shot in the back of the net. A brilliant goal by Sean Quigley with his left foot. Rockets the ball to the back of the net. And if you want a time to get a goal, the perfect time is just before. With a good head and to break it down to the brother there, you know, and then back in the net. And here he has the ball with an opportunity to increase. Well, that's his second point of this. Second half just about to get underway here in Brewster Park. One change on the Bell Crew team at half time sees Barry McGovern wearing number 18 coming in in place of Owen Leonard. Unfortunate for Leonard as Quigley goes up, gathers the ball, Quigley shows his strength. Quigley is. Lines up this free now. 
That's kicked over the bar, that's his third. He's played 38 seconds, still going. Man overlapping, that's Paul McGrath. He's the captain of the side. Gives it back there towards Leonard. Gavin Leonard this time. Gavin Leonard got a point in the first calf. Can he get one second? Could be better! It is better! Stevie McGuire blasts the ball to the back of the net. Gavin Leonard's shot came off the upright. Who was first to react? None other than the 35-year-old Stephen McGuire, the big full forward, and he rams it into the back of the net. As Jim Sherry, Root one in round the danger of the goal. Shimmy Quigley gets up. Yeah, this is still Quigley. Quigley has it. Back on the left foot. Goes for goal! What a save for McGrath! Wonderful shot by Shimmy Quigley, but what a save! Uh, McGrath is going to go route one in round towards Stephen McGuire. Surely he's been held in there. The ball bounces and bounces over the bar, has it? A bit like the first half. That shot from uh, McGrath. Comment on that in a few moments. He feeds this ball in towards Stephen McGuire. Up the go for McGuire has it. It's a goal number two. Referee, what is he going to judge? Well, he's a long, long way away from the play and he decides that that's a penalty. And here he comes, McGrath. Shoots. It's saved by the goalkeeper. Well, it was a poor penalty. It was straight down the middle, and Boyle got his foot to it. He went the other way, got his foot to it, and the penalty has been saved. And well, a lifeline. It is indeed, as you, as you said. To go forward, one on one inside. Sean quickly inside, gathers the ball, does well. Sean on the right foot. Sean kicks it, kicks it over the bar. 20 minutes gone in the second half. He has been deadly accurate. Anything that's gone into him, he's knocked it over the bar. Four points, five points already in this final. Here he comes, right footed, locked and good, locked and good, locked and good. What a score! Absolutely fantastic score. They won it in 2010, they won it in 2011. As Shimmy quickly has it, Shimmy goes to the post, in it goes, oh, that's a fantastic score, but what a score. That's an excellent score, you know, great again, great player in the middle of the third here, Kevin, Kevin Cosby around the ball. And taking the chances, yeah, yeah. Same, uh, here he comes, rams it, well, it's over the bar, so what? In the first half, and in the second half, again, Jared is the short, so is so there, you know, clean catch, and it was masterful in that area. I know, I with Kevin Cosby as well in that department, you know, and then when Shimmy and Sean got ball inside, they were, they were crucial in getting scores. I'm not sure where the referee's getting this additional time, but Rustley won't mind. They have possession, and it's all over. It's all over, and Rustley are the victors. They have won the championship fi final of 2013, and have won it on a final score of 1-12 to Rustley and 1-9 to Belcu. Both sets of players shake hands. Some go into the middle of the field for a huddle and a celebrate. And now I'm honoured to present Peg. I'm going to see your championship cup to the great Jim Sherry, the Rusnay captain.